Well, high school athletes in Norfolk Public Schools have traded heat and humidity for cold weather on the first day of football practice. Connor Real reports on what else has changed on day one. I've been here 23 years and I was at Granby High School for 13. That's 30. Six. Nearly four decades in, Lake Taylor High School head football coach Hank Sawyer finally had his first February practice today. The latest I practiced for football was last year, getting ready for the state championship. I think that was on December the 11th. It's been a year of firsts everywhere in life. Norfolk City High School sports are no different, with the fall athletic schedule starting today with school's first day of football. Well, we're just going to take it slow and, and let them gradually get acclimated to the to the cold. While Coach Sawyer and his team start slow, head athletic trainer Christine Feldbauer has been preparing for this day for a long time. We have been prepping for this return since we uh, left last March. So um, countless Zoom sessions. This has been a long time coming and a lot of planning uh, moving forward. But again, we're, we're very happy to be out here. Each participant checks in with Feldbauer before practice. Masks are worn at all times during and players are socially distanced whenever they're not in a drill. There's definitely um, a heightened level of responsibility, not only for me as the athletic trainer, but for everybody out here. For Coach Sawyer, that responsibility extends far beyond safely winning football games. Those kids need me. I find myself, you know, being more of a counselor and a motivator, you know, just trying to keep them going. Cross country field hockey and sideline cheer begin practice February 15th, while volleyball and competitive cheer have been postponed to a later date. In Norfolk, I'm Connor Real, 13 News Now.